Your Excellency, Dr. Eid Samhang, Minister of Labor and Vocational Training. Your Excellency, Dr. Sai Sam Al, Minister of Environment, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and young partners. I'm honored to participate with you today in the opening session of the National Career and Productivity Online Fair. The effort invested by the Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training and the National Employment Agency are commendable, namely for adop adopting new ways of working to respond to the uncertainties and complexities brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm impressed to see government representatives, employers, private sector, experts, and young Cambodians engage side by side to reflect on and promote new employment opportunities. The COVID-19 crisis has had a significant impact on socioeconomic progress in Cambodia. Key economic sectors, such as tourism, hospitality, expert manufacturing, and construction sectors have been hit hard by the pandemic, resulting in 2020 in an unprecedented increase in the unemployment rate to 4.8% per, uh, uh, and the loss of more than 50,000 jobs in the tourism sector alone. Noticeably, working women have been disproportionately affected due to their higher participation in the garment and tourism industries. The pandemic will have sustained tolls on the country in the medium to long term due to the significant disruption in education and youth vocational training. This is not unique to Cambodia. The combined measure of the world's education, health and living standard is on declining course for the first time during the last three decades. We have a task at hand, uh, partners. We have a task at hand to turn the crisis into opportunities to look beyond recovery towards the future. To realize the country's 2030 and 2050 visions of becoming high middle income and graduating to high income country, Cambodia needs to accelerate digital transformation, diversify its economy, prioritizing value addition, green and low carbon productive sectors, and upgrade its industrial value chains to raise its competitive edge in one of the most dynamic regions in the world. Structurally, Cambodia's growing economy is built on a, on a demographic dividend of young people and the increase of foreign investment flows, which can be used to boost inclusive economic growth and maximize the benefit of digital transformation and Industry 4.0 technologies. Analysis showed that the adoption and adaptation of Industry 4.0 technologies have the potential to drive opportunities for Cambodia to upgrade its industrial value chains, diversify its economic structure, create new capabilities for innovation, and strengthen its small and medium-sized enterprises. Digital transformation is a must. It is a prerequisite for uh, stimulating the economy by facilitating communication, empowering individuals, creating employment, and spurring innovation. But on the other hand, it also carries the risk of widening pre-existing inequalities exposed by the pandemic between the, ha the haves and have-nots. Excellencies, distinguished guests, and young people. UNDP Cambodia has been working in close partnership with the National Employment Agency for improving the public employment service and promoting access to online career information and guidance for more than 1.4 million young persons and job seekers during the last three years. This, is also this also included the development of this online career platform. To maximize the country's competitive advantages, UNDP has worked with relevant ministries, local partners, and international experts to assess the country's core uh, Industry 4.0 readiness and digital skills infrastructure in view of identifying and assessing challenges and gaps for embracing uh, Industry 4.0, for and namely the changing nature of work and skill demanded, the subject of our meeting today. For this purpose, UNDP invested in and availed upskilling opportunities for young people 
to enhance their access to decent and higher value jobs and develop their ability to adapt to rapid technological advancements. Programs targeting marginalized young people, women, and persons with disabilities are implemented to connect job opportunities to workers, to workers particularly affected by COVID-19, including the recently launched accountancy technician qualifications. It's a program in Khmer language where 300 students are currently enrolled, including high school dropouts. So giving the chance again for people and empowering them. UNDP has also worked to improve the demand side of the labor market through continuous effort to expand job, to expand job opportunities. It has been supporting MSMEs to access growing e-commerce and digital solutions and upgrade youth entrepreneurial capacity. We have been uh, partnering with 500,000 MSMEs and more than 2,500 2, young entrepreneurs. Excellencies, distinguished guests, and young partners. We need to act collectively. We need to act collectively and faster to help Cambodia and its young workforce to prepare for a future driven by digital transformation and green and low carbon growth, and to ensure that technologies and innovations are also accessible to the poor and the marginalized. It is not just an issue of technology. By their very na nature, technological revolutions are also highly disruptive. Without policies and actions to ensure benefits sharing of digital and industry 4.0, technologies, the ambition of an open economy, strategic position at the heart of Asia, ASEAN, and sustained socioeconomic growth will remain elusive. On this occasion, I would like to graduate the, local, the Royal Government of Cambodia and the Ministry of Labor and Vocational Training for being proactive and timely in identifying productivity development as one of the main priorities to realize sustainable and inclusive economic growth. The strategic choice is clearly illustrated by several national policies, namely the Industrial Development Policy 2015 to 2025, the National Technical Vocational Education and Training Policy 2017 to 2025, the National Productivity Master Plan 2020-2030, and other interventions for skills and entrepreneurship development. I want to also th uh, thank the National Employment Agency, development partners, stakeholders, and the UNDP team for your commitment to make this national platform possible for facilitating job seekers access to training, job matching and recruitment, and labor market intelligence. I wish you all a very successful and fruitful event. Au contraire.